in the previous video, we talked about the four sharps and four flats that you need to know for the IGC's E examination. Also for your regular theory examinations, whether you do UNISA or Trinity or Royal Schools. So we went through Father Charles Goes Da and the flats Battle Ends and Da. Now today we're going to do all the other sharps and flats that you need for theory. Now you will see here that I also included here um, a time signature so that you know that when you have to write your time, your key signature, that you first have the key signature and then the time signature. It's actually quite easy to remember because in your alphabet we have the K before we get the T. So the key signature first and then the time signature. So let's go through. C major is the one with no accidentals and no key signature. And we worked out last time C, the minor of C, one, two, three steps down is A minor. G major is the one with a one F sharp. If I work from G to the minor, one, two, three is E minor. And E minor's key signature will look exactly the same. I will just add my seventh, raised seventh, when I write my scale. D major, Father Charles. I've got two sharps in my key signature if I work out my minor. One, two, three, B minor. Father Charles goes. A major, if I work out my minor, 1, 2, 3, F sharp minor. E major, we also did last time, Father Charles goes down. Okay, and if I work out my minor now, 1, 2, 3, is C sharp. Now in the previous video, I said that it cannot be D flat, it must be C sharp because the need the, the notes need to be a third apart now that is where we stopped last time today we're going to add b major b major father charles goes down and okay and if i work out the minor of b one two three g sharp minor f sharp Father Charles goes down and ends. F sharp minor, F, F sharp major. If I work out my minor, one, two, three, it's D sharp minor. It will look exactly the same. I will just add my seventh, raised seventh in my scale. Now the next one, C sharp major. Father Charles goes down and ends battle. C sharp major. Let's work out the minor. One, two, three is A sharp. Now, if you struggle with C sharp major working out the minor, it's quite easy. I know that C has A minor as the relative minor. What I add this side, if I add a sharp this side, I must add my sharp that side as well. So C sharp major, the relative is A sharp minor. And if you subscribe to the channel, you will see all the videos that I will add because next the next video that I will be making will be about the scales, writing out the scales. Now, F major you have to study. F major is the one with a B flat. Okay, if I work out the minor, 1, 2, 3 is D minor. So that is this side. We had F sharp major and we worked out that D sharp minor is my minor. So if I take away a sharp this side, I take away a sharp that side. So it's D minor is my relative minor. B flat major battle ends. We know in the last video I explained to you that, that with the flats 
we add a flat in our sentence we add two um, to get all the key signatures of B flat major B flat battle ends minor one two three is G minor E flat major we did battle ends and let's work out the minor one two three is C minor and here we stopped last, last time battle ends and down Take away that flat, then I know it's A flat major. Let's work out the minor. You can start with any of the A flats. One, two, three is F. Now the one that we're going to add today, battle ends and down goes. So if I scratch out that one, I know that I'm in the key of D flat. Let's work out D flat. One, two, three is B flat minor. We're also going to add G flat major today. Battle ends and down goes Charles. Scratch out the last one. I know I'm in G flat major. And let's work out the minor. One, two, three is E flat minor. The same as I explained to you. G major has E minor as the minor. If I have to work out G flat, what I add this side, I have to add that side. Okay, and the last one, C flat major. One, two, three is A flat. What I explained here, C flat, if I add a flat this side, A flat is the relative minor. So, to work out the sharps, I go to my alphabet and I say, what do I get just after the F? The answer is G. What do I get just after the, the C? D. So D major's got Father Charles. What do I have just after the G on my piano? A. Father Charles goes to so I must add all the previous sharps as well. D, what's just after the D, is E. Father Charles goes down. Okay, what's just after the A, is a B. Father Charles goes down and. Okay, just after the E, it cannot be F because F has a B flat, so it must be F sharp. So I'm busy with sharps. And uh, it has an F sharp, so I can't say after the E I have an F. It must be an F sharp. So F sharp's got Father Charles goes down and ends. The same here, what's after the B? This is C sharp. I can't say C because I know C does not have any sharps or flats. And C sharp will have everything. Father Charles goes down and ends battle. And my C is the neutral one here without any key signatures. Now if I start with my flat, I know that F major has got a B flat. B flat will have battle ends. I always add another flat. E flat will have battle ends and a flat will have battle ends and down. Okay, D flat will have battle ends and down goes. G flat, battle ends and down goes Charles. So I add another flat. C flat will have all my flats. Battle ends and down goes Charles father. So if I know this little sentence, um, it's quite easy to work out all my sharps and flats. Now here we're going to concentrate on the bass clef that you can see my F sharp. Gary Bax does funny. I also showed that in my previous video. Okay, it starts there. And I always have a zigzag pattern. You will see with all your 
sharps and flats it's a zigzag pattern that is formed father charles for d or b you see that small b okay the minors i write small letters father charles goes a f sharp is small father charles goes down e or c sharp small father charles goes down and now here that a sharp will be there father charles goes down and okay i'm not going to put it on that line on top the same with the right hand father charles goes down and it doesn't go up with the rest okay so this one is quite important that you start study that one that you can see where the position of your a sharp is f sharp father charles goes down and and I've got a space for the E-sharp there. Father Charles goes down and ends. With the C-sharp, Father Charles goes down and ends battle. Now what I have here is the tonic note. That I must be able to write the tonic of C. The tonic of G major is G. The tonic of D major, D. The tonic of A major, A. Okay, and you can go through that and also try to write the tonics of the minors. So if you go through this, try to write out the minus one, minor ones as well. Now let's look at the flats. You see F major with a B flat there. Battle ends. For the B flat, battle ends and for the E flat, battle ends and down, A flat, battle ends and down, goes. For the D flat, you can also put that D flat there, battle ends and down, goes Charles. For the G flat, battle ends and down, goes Charles' father. So it's quite important that you know that i have a zigzag pattern but that is the one that's quite important that you can place your a sharp there when you do your igc's examination you also have a part that you have to write something over to the alto clef now it's very important that you know that middle c is on this line that's middle c Okay, and if I look at the F sharp, the first sharp is then there because it's C, D, E, F. Now you will see that I again have my pattern, the zigzag pattern, Father Charles for D, Father Charles goes for A, Father Charles goes down. You see where the D is, D sharp is then, Father Charles goes down and A sharp again there. Father Charles goes down and ends. It looks a lot like your G clef one. It's just one step lower. Now the same with your flats here. If middle C is here, the B flat will be there. Battle ends. Battle ends and. Battle ends and down. Battle ends and down goes. Battle ends and down goes Charles. So again, it looks a lot like your G clef. It's just one step down. Now it's quite interesting that you can also look at the tenor clef, where my middle C is then there. So it will be too high to put my F sharp at the top. So the F sharp will be on that second line. Father Charles. Father Charles goes, Father Charles goes down, Father Charles goes down and, Father Charles goes down and ends. So it's quite interesting that you see it like that. And I, I don't think a lot of you will need to know the tenor clef. And the same with my flats. Okay. So you will see the B flat is there and it also looks a lot like your alto clef so everything is just a line different 